Welcome back to primetime. Roger Craig was out of the lineup today for the San Francisco 49ers as they went into Hot Atlanta, a team they only beat by six points uh, earlier this season in a game at Candlestick Park. So who would run the ball for the 49ers? Who needs to run when you have Joe Montana and Jerry Rice? The Falcons found it out the hard way. Roger on the sidelines, do they need him? Well, early on, first series, the Falcons rookie Steve Broussard fumbles. Bill Romanowski makes the hit, keep the long recovers. And a minute into the game, the Falcons pay for it. Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. How often have we seen it? You'll see it repeatedly. 24 yards at 7 0, 49ers. But not to be outdone, the next series, Chris Miller. To Andre Bad Moon Rice. 75 yards. Nice dance. Tied at seven. What's the matter with Joe Montana? I mean, he even gets intercepted. Boy, he stinks, doesn't he, Tom? Charlie Dimery picks it off. But what's he doing here? It's not good to celebrate against Montana until the gun goes off. Yeah. Montana. Jerry Rice. He gets belted on the play, but Rice catches it 14 7. Against who? Charles Dimery. Cornerback Dimery stays in his back pedal too long, lets Rice get right on top of him. He's beat. Then you see the Atlanta secondary again. Dimery beat by Mike Sherrard. And besides the fact that they got beat, they did a poor job of tackling after the ball was caught. Doug Shively, defensive coordinator. Uh, this isn't good. Falcons special teams, this is good. George Thomas blocks the punt. Oh, let me tell you about Bobby Butler. Touchdown, we're tied at 14. But the 49ers have their own special team. Joe to Jerry, 19 yards, 28-14. Chris Miller says, that's all right. I'm going to keep trying, but... And he does. As he hits Andre Rice. Using Rice in all day. Here to Rice and setting up a touchdown. It's going to be 31-21 Niners at the half of Jerry Glanville's birthday. Rice had caught nine passes to try and make it a happy one for his coach. Rice and Roger Craig said, you know what? You're just getting Joe interested. When Joe's interested, the rest of the league is in trouble. Montana, Jerry Rice, touchdown, 38-21. Joe on the day, six touchdown passes. The NFL record is seven, due for 476 yards, 11th best in NFL history. Fourth quarter, second and goal, Montana to guess who? Jerry Rice. Five touchdown receptions for Rice. 40, a birthday for Jerry Glanville. No, it was his 49th birthday. Yeah, and Jerry Rice helped ruin it. 13 for 225 and five touchdown receptions. Montana throwing for six. What can we say They are Simply unbelievable as the Niners win it by the count of 45 to 35. Fun game to watch, Ax, uh, if you like pinball machines. <laughs> well, it certainly was. And, you know, people still laugh about Jerry Glanville. They think his country music and his country expressions and his uh, Elvis routine are hokey. But the fact is, this guy took over a bunch of mediocre players, a bunch of defensive backs who aren't that good, and these guys, as weak as they may be at some positions, are playing very hard for him. That black magic works, Chris. It does. An update, by the way, on Chris Miller. He went to the hospital had to leave the game in the fourth quarter, but we checked with the hospital, sprained right knee. He left the hospital, has gone home, not on crutches, just uh, with a knee brace, didn't seem to be in any pain, and doctors say that they expect him to play next week. The doctors arrested around the league, hope that Montana and Rice don't play again because what they did today was unbelievable. The Niners thought they'd be pressed today by Atlanta, so they got a little bit interested, and the results showed on the scoreboard. 